Well, we've got uh, the cylinder head off this D343. Uh, we were a little concerned about the valve. Anyway, this is a that's an exhaust valve, and the, none of the exhaust valves were sealing at all, and it was turning them black, and they're actually blue up here on the stem. And as you can see, there's no shiny mark around the face of the valve. So I decided to take it out. And I'll end up doing this myself. I bought a new way seat cutter. It's just manual. It uses carbide tips to cut the seat. This is it right here. These are the cutter heads. That right there is a 60 degree. And this one is 45 on this side and 15 degrees on this side. So first thing you do is you go in with the 60 degree and make a cut and clean it up. And then you use this one and you go in and you cut your 15 degree which is this side and then lastly you take the 45 which is your final angle and you go in and you cut and you cut it until you get the 75 thousandths width of the seat and you use this handle and this crank to run it it's really quite simple, does a super job, no more stones, no more grindings and cuttings all over. But I've just got to get some new valve guides for it. And then they make a, a hand driven deal to grind the face of this valve. They call it a gizmatic. And it's just a cool little deal you set in the vise. And you put your valve in it and you turn it and it runs a carbide cutter around here and cuts a beautiful face on the valve. This is the head gasket and this is number five. You can see it's just starting to totally burn it away right here and you can see the heat discoloration and around on number six you can also see it clear over to the other side you can see where it was starting to actually burn the rubber. This covers a head bolt hole. So it was starting to blow compression into the head bolt hole. You can see every hole, every one of them is discolored. Here. Some worse than others. But even the front one, you can see all the way around here where it's burnt. It's been leaking. You can see the black right here. So that's what you want to look for on a head gasket on a diesel. Is make sure that your liners are protruding enough that the head can pinch them down. If they can't, this is what's going to happen. Okay, we got the head off. Pistons and sleeves are out, got her cleaned up. Uh, cutting, gonna have to cut every one of these holes for a shim. Uh, the shim is 31 thousandths thick. This block already has repair sleeves in it around here. They're about, we can see that from here out to here, they're about a quarter inch thick. And then they drop down the hole about a quarter of an inch. Anyway, the liners have wobbled around on them until they've dropped really bad. Number five and number six are the worst. Starting on number five first, you can see in there it's just starting to cut for the shim. This is number six. It's really bad right around in here. It's dropped several thousandths. Anyway, if you can't get a good tight pinch 
on the liner from the head, that's what happens. It'll blow the head gasket.